Hello Aries, welcome to your how they feel about you reading. This is going to be about your person, the person that you are thinking about right now, how they feel about you, and what are their true intentions. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you know the drill, it'll be a general love reading. It will not resonate with every Aries watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story, so don't try to make it fit if it's not for you. Check out your other placements. Sometimes there's more signs in our chart um, that can resonate more than your sun sign. So your moon, your rising, your Venus. And we're just going to get right into it. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. For Aries spirit. For Aries regarding the person they are thinking about or are in a connection with at this time. For Aries, please. How do they feel? about Aries. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments for Aries. How does their person feel about Aries? So let's look, let's see. What, are, what does this person think or feel about Aries at this time? What's in their heart space spirit towards Aries, please? These two. Adversity, accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So there's a challenge here. Your person feels that there's a challenge they need to overcome. Balance, maybe they need to rebalance a situation here. What else? These are the soul's journey lessons, lesson cards. I can hold them. Just one, please. I just want one for Aries. For Aries, please. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So there has been some sort of loss here for your person. Maybe, um, maybe they're missing you. Um, maybe they missed an opportunity and are regretting it. <clears throat> let's get some more insight here what else can you tell us spare i'm going to use my homemade oracle deck what would this person tell aries if they could thoughts or feelings regarding aries please from their person what else do we need to know spirit oh okay that one just came right out trust Maybe trust was broken or there's an uh, imbalance here due to a lack of trust. Um, maybe someone needs to trust that things will happen as they should in the timing that they're meant to. Let's see. What else do we need to know? What does this person want to tell Aries? Do I want all of those? Yes. Okay. All right, don't give up, hope is reversed. So I feel like someone here is feeling like the situation is hopeless or maybe they're lacking faith once again here. I miss you reverse. So this could be that someone here is either missing you very badly or wants to, it's cause this I miss you reverse is like for me, the five of cups reverse. So it could be that they're trying to recover something that they've lost. Is it too late? And a cycle is ending. Wow, is it too late? That's probably why they're losing hope, Aries. They might have waited too long. A cycle is ending for them. I'm going to just move these here to the side. So let's, um, actually, before I get into the tarot, let's look at some romance angels. What happened here, spirit, between Aries and this other person? What happened between you? What do we need to know about this connection, spirit, between Aries and this person? What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about Aries or this connection? 
What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So someone has to... There's action that needs to be taken here. What else? Move that up a little. What else do we need to know? Could have been that there was an uh, an, uh, an imbalance here. Maybe someone felt or put in more effort. Um, like maybe someone had more feelings than the other person or someone put in more effort than the other person and so it created an imbalance. Can I get like one card please? What is happening? For Aries, please. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life reverse. That's that don't give up hope reverse card. Someone's really thinking that this will not happen for them. They're losing hope that they'll be able to rebalance this situation. And I think that it's messing with their head. What else do we need to know about what happened between Aries and this other person's spirit? What else do we need to know? Playfulness reversed. Ooh, we could have had um, someone that was unable to commit here. Maybe they wanted to play the field. Maybe they, um, maybe there's a lot of baggage here. And then we got free yourself reversed at the bottom. So I feel like there's definitely attachment here. There, there, your person feels attached to you in some way or you feel attached to your person. Even if there has been uh, some sort of separation or distance between you here. And the reason I say separation or, is because your person is missing you. She tells me you guys are not together. Um, or things are very different between you. So let's get into the tarot here. I'm going to be using the Light Seers tarot today. So we're going to look at um, your person's feelings and thoughts when it comes to you or this connection. What are they really thinking or feeling at this time? And then we're going to look at their true intentions towards you. And it's just going to be a simple spread. I, I didn't want to... I think simple, simple spreads work best. So let's, let's get into it. For Aries, please. Ooh, oh, okay, all right. Okay. okay. For Aries. What are this person's thoughts or feelings towards Aries? Spirit? Let's think, let's start with Let's think. <laughs> Let's start with how this person think thinks or feels about you, Aries, at this time. Let's dig a little deeper into what are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries spirit. What is this person's thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time, please? Their thoughts or feelings towards Aries. Ooh, moon reverse. Well, they're thinking the secret's out or something here. They probably could have pretended to be something they're not and that blew up in their face or whatever they didn't want to come out came out anyway. There's something, a hidden factor here that has come to light. And I feel like when your person thinks about this connection, that's what comes to mind. What else? Their thoughts and or feelings towards Aries spirit. Her thoughts and her feelings. Two of Cups reversed. Definitely some sort of separation happened here. There's a disconnect between you at this time. And grief because of it. Um, I feel like your person thinks this is going to be a challenge. This Two of Cups reversed. Whatever happened between you, I feel, caused... Um, it was almost like a blow up is how I'm feeling here. King of Pentacles reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Pisces energy with the moon. So I feel like someone here was possibly um, being selfish or your person 
either they're being a little greedy right now or they are not very stable or grounded at this time they might have made financial mis like mistakes financially that has left them in a bind here what's at the bottom hierophant taurus energy so um this could also be that your person ace of swords page of cups queen of cups i feel like for some of you aries your person is in a commitment or they're unable to commit something with commitment here with a higher five at the bottom either they're unable to commit at this time or weren't able to commit to you and it caused a breakup or they were in some in a commitment already that they need to end because i have a cycle is ending here <clears throat> and i have the playfulness card reverse which to me this is like the knight of wands reverse someone that's here for a good time not a long time and then I have the free yourself card reverse, which this could be that someone is attached to someone or a situation. So let's see. What are your person's true intentions? What are their intentions, spirit, towards Aries? Oops. What are their intentions towards Aries? What are their true intentions? the world so they do want to end a cycle to start a new one here Are these cards are not straight it's bothering me um okay what else a new beginning a fresh start new cycle here what are their true intentions towards Aries? Hangman. More Pisces energy here. I don't think your person is moving. It's like they're thinking. They're seeing things from different angles here. But it's it's at this time it's just thinking, it's just planning. Um, it's being enlightened. Like they, they're getting clarity about a situation, but it, but at this time they're still hanging around, hesitating possibly, or unable to really move at this time. What is this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions towards Aries, please? Thank you. The chariot. Wow, we got three major arcanas here. Cancer energy. Moving forward. At the bottom I have the tower. So I feel like um, when this person has this new beginning, switches direction, um, it might be either due to a tower or they're going to cause a tower here. Okay, help me clarify these messages for Aries, please. Help me clarify, Spirit. These messages for Aries. Let's start with the moon reverse. What happened here with the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? What came out here? The fairies. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna take it just like it landed at the on the floor here. You got the ten of cups. Something to do with a family, children. What else with the moon reversed? Let's see what other insight we can get here. What else happened here with the moon reverse? Four of cups. Okay, someone's just not interested. Um, uh, dissatisfied. Someone could have lost interest because of what they found out someone could be unhappy in a connection let's see what else is with the moon reverse it's way too many what else can you tell me about the moon reverse spirit 
someone might have missed an opportunity because they weren't even looking. Queen of Wands reversed. To the bottom, Six of Swords reversed. Interesting. So there was some sort of revelation here with the moon reverse. Uh, I think it has to do with a family or someone here. It could also be that someone was putting on a happy face, pretending to be happy or have a happy, happy family, but deep down or behind closed doors or dealing with someone who is um, craving attention, uh, the queen of wands reversed. She can um, break up families or relationships using her attraction, her magnetic energy for bad um, or just to please herself. She doesn't care about the consequences, how she affects other people. She could have a short temper. She could be um, big on gossip. She causes trouble, the queen of wands reversed. I think this Queen of Wands reverse is some sort of interference here. And um, the reason I say interference is because I have the Six of Swords at the bottom here that came out with her. So she could be getting in the way of a departure. She could be causing a delay and a departure here for someone, for your person. Um, or, and I say for someone because this spread could be for your person, Aries, or it could be for you. Flip it if it resonates more. But this, I feel like there's some sort of delay in a departure here. Someone's unable to move forward, move on. I um, feel like this, this Four of Cups is all about someone who feels just, they're just not happy. They're not happy where they're at. They are... Um, not open to new opportunities, not opening their heart to anything. It could be that they're stuck with a Queen of Wands reversed energy, whether it's a partner or a friend or a family member, and it's like they're just over their life. They're, they're not happy. And I think this has been some sort of revelation for someone. Tell me about the Two of Cups reversed. Why is the Two of Cups reversed to you? Ace of Wands reverse. So something didn't pan out here. A partnership didn't take off. A, a connection couldn't develop. It was over before it began, that kind of energy. Page of Wands reverse, definitely. Something didn't start. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Oops. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse here? the emperor reverse someone here has lost control there's no stability for your person there you are aries by the way emperor energy tell me more about the king of pentacles reverse it, and they can't give you anything either your person cannot give you something right now because they don't have anything to give you their life i feel like is a mess yeah here we go ten of pentacles reverse this could be financial difficulties for your person they've had there has been a loss for your person. King of Wands reversed. And um, I do have several people here too. I have Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Emperor, and now I have here the King of Wands reversed. This could be family, it could be work, um, it could be a, a broken family unit or struggling family or someone that's struggling financially. They, there's been a loss here of security, of stability. And someone is has lost control over the situation um, their emotions are all over the place. They're unable to to have courage here to, to tackle a challenge. Your person knows that there's a challenge that they have to face. They have to overcome here with the adversity card. Um, they know that they need balance. They need to restabilize the situation. Um, and I think that's why we have the world here and their intentions. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Yeah, look at this, King of Cups. They're thinking um, 
in a mature way with the King of Cups. I think also they're motivated by their emotions, how they feel towards you. Tell me more about the world. Tell me more about the world, please. Ooh, three of cups. They could be wanting to reunite with you, come together with you here. Tell me more about the world. Yeah, the, uh, your person's dropping a burden in order to have this. They could be dropping a third party as well. Um, I feel like there's going to be a delay because of their responsibilities, the different things that they're juggling right now, because I have the Knight of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. So this could delay them. Um, but they're still, they're still going to, their intention is to have a new beginning here, to start fresh. Tell me about the hangman. And it's like, they're doing this because their mindset is different now. They need to make the effort. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Four of pentacles. Okay, tell me more about the hangman, please. Tell me more about the hangman, please. Four of pentacles is all about guarding yourself, protecting yourself, holding back. Five of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like, again, it's this, this miss you card reversed. It's like they need to heal this. They don't want to miss you anymore. They don't want to be apart from you anymore. They don't want to have a distance between you. Tell me more about the hangman. There's that Knight of Pentacles reversed again. This could be financial difficulties. Your person's probably needing to save money to move um, because I have the chariot here. Um, maybe they don't have uh, a job right now and finances are tight. If they're leaving a third party that's a family unit, there could be money involved there as well. Regardless, there's gonna be a delay here. Um, and it's because your person made a bad judgment call in the past. And so now, you know, karma, I'm telling you, it's not like, just because we realize that we did something wrong and we learn from the mistake that we did does not mean that it just the consequences just magically go away. We still have to deal with the consequences of our actions. So I feel like your person, you know, it's almost like a karmic situation that they made a bad judgment call here. And so they're dealing with the repercussions. It's causing delays now in, in a new beginning for them. But they're still going to move forward. I just think, you know, it's not going to be as quick as they might like. Tell me about the chariot. And it's almost like they need a reassurance that they're on the right path here because they're, they're starting to lose hope and, you know, they might think it's too late here. Tell me about the chariot. Thank you. Three of pentacles reverse. Again, there's a third party interference here. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, they want, they're going to be moving. I mean, they want to move fast on this. Okay, I want more for the chariot. I don't think it's going to be as quick as they would like. Thank you. Because that, yeah. They made a bad choice in partner here. Yep. They missed the boat on something with the three of wands reverse. This is what I'm seeing here. Uh, the three of wands reverse and the lovers reverse. They missed the boat on a, on a good partnership. Instead, they made a different choice and it was not the best choice. It was judgment reverse. It was a, a choice that they made while their judgment was blocked. Gemini energy here with the lovers. Um, so I feel like because of this bad choice, I feel like this bad choice is a third party interference. Um, this could be anybody. It could be an ex. It could be a current partner. It could be a family member. Um, whatever interference I feel is because your person made a bad choice. Um, and so it's like, they might want to be moving quickly here, but I don't think it's going to happen as quick, as quickly as they want it to. Can I get one more for this chariot, please? Just curious. Anything else I need to know? Spare for Aries. Thank you. King of Wands reverse again with the seven of wands. 
he don't want to reverse. Terrible person to be dealing with. Um, they're just pissed. I feel like, again, this is that Queen of Wands energy. The same energy um, where someone's just mad and might want to get in the middle of someone leaving here. Make it more difficult. Uh, I feel like your person's facing a lot of opposition with the Seven of Wands. And they're fighting back. Your person's fighting back to free themselves, I feel. Interesting. Thank you so much for watching your likes your shares your subscribes i really appreciate it huge thank you to those of you that take time out of your day to leave me such kind comments it does not go unnoticed thank you so much and hopefully i'll see you in another video take care